Hello. In this video, we're going to look at doing a pair T test using R. We're going to use the example data from Chapter 8 on the amount of time you spend grazing when they have lambs and when they don't have lambs. We're going to use the R code from the help sheet downloadable from the online resource centre. Here's a copy of it here. You can see in the first section of the help sheet it tells you how to set up a data file using Excel and to save it in a tab delimited form. You can either make the data file yourself or you can download a copy of the data file from the online resource centre. You can see that the data file has three columns, the ID of the U, which is just for reference, and then you have the data with present grazing without lambs, and the next column is the present grazing with lambs. Let's crack on with the analysis. Let's get R up so that we can um, put in the code. So if you want to know how to get R to look like this, then watch the introductory video. Let's bring up the help sheet so that we can get the code from it. So this is what we want to control. Oh, sorry, we highlight and copy. Then paste that into your R editor window. Just a little bit of housekeeping first. You need to get rid of the page break so that all the notes are on the same line and ideally just put an extra return there just so that the distinct doesn't that doesn't affect functionality but it makes it slightly clearer. So now we need to put in words here that are relevant to our example. So we're going to put the data into an object called use. We're going to attach the labels in that file and we're going to print those labels out. The sorry the column um, headings. Let's run that first so we I've got the information there on the names. So control R, go to find wherever you've saved your data. I've saved it on my desktop in the folder here. This is the data we're looking at. Okay, so we know these are the column headings. ID, present grazing without lambs and present grazing with lambs. Then we can put the information into the second set of this, this sec the second bit here, which is uh, includes the code to conduct a t test, which is this line here, and we just literally put the names of the two columns percent grays dot without w o for without, and after the other side the comma percent grays with. Now we have to make sure that that's exactly written as it is over here so that looks right if it, that looks right okay so if it isn't we get an error message but that's fine we can go back and edit it if that happens All right so let's control um, sorry this highlight and con control R so highlight first control R and there we have the result of our t-test, paired t-test. There's a t-value, degrees of freedom, the p-value, the estimate of effect size and the confidence interval of that effect size. And that's as easy as that. That's all done. That's it.